Okay, good morning, you guys. Um, there were two, actually two videos that came out yesterday that I'm going to put in the description that you really need to listen to to actually get an understanding of what sleep is and about the deception that these demons are putting out in the world. Um, in one of these videos... There's uh, a few different people speaking in the video, but one of the guys in there says, uh, no, we're not servants. We're not, uh, we're not slaves to helping other people. Um, we are, I forgot the exact word he used. We are like, uh, we are like gods on this earth. We're children of God. This is what this guy said. Um, I'm getting ready to read you a Bible verse. Now, I, I understand because this is what I said just a couple of days ago that Jesus said we are servants. Those who want to be first must be last. You see, here's, here's the thing that, no, that none of these sleepers understand out here, which is why they're, they're all getting in trouble. We can understand that, that we are... Listen, not everybody who says that they're a believer in Christ is a true believer in Christ or is truly following Christ. Not everybody calling themselves a child of God actually is a child of God. Do you understand me? Be very clear about this. So uh, unless you're awake, you have no business calling yourself a child of God or a God on earth or, or anything. You better be calling yourself uh, a, a servant because that's what you are um, it, it appeared by uh, this man's voice that um, there's anger in him the word servant and slave refers back to uh, the era of the, the slaves of the African Americans and this is what, what seemed to ruffle this guy's feathers and um, this is sleep this is sleep this shows that he believes he is this body he believes that that the history of this country uh, happened to people, and, and not that not that these are demons. These are demons that rule this 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 realm here. He doesn't understand that, and he wants to call himself a god. See, this is this is exactly what Lucifer did. And now you, I hope you you are starting to see what I've been saying out here. It's exactly what Lucifer did. So we, we've, we've determined, Lucifer said he wanted to be like God, because you can't be more than God. So he wanted to be like God. And this is exactly what these people are doing. Because of the fact that they are still in the sleep and they still have massive egos, and they're running around the planet calling themselves gods. Little Elohims. They're misinterpreting the Bible. The fact of the matter is, Jesus told everybody not to be of the world, but they conveniently overlooked that fact because of their greed. Do you understand? I will put this in the description so you can hear it for yourself. You've got to understand what you're listening to and how to identify how that red light is going to come on. Oh, that's a sleeper. That is a sleeper. This is the danger of having a massive ego and twisting the gospel. Uh, the Bible is a very dangerous book. The Bible is a very dangerous book. Which is why all these people out here twist it to their liking. The other one I put the other one I heard out here uh, yesterday, this one, I just cracked up with this one. This was too funny. This guy was out here talking about uh, don't let people who are newly out of witchcraft uh, go into a leadership position in ministry. Well, my only question for this person is, what spirit do you believe you're operating from? Because as you've stated, the spirit of witchcraft is a spirit of rebellion. So what spirit do you believe that you're operating from? What spirit do you believe that all your buddies out here are operating from as you stand on a stage of a church and call another human being a witch from God's house? 
What spirit do you all believe that you're working from? And yet you people are in leadership. You should not be in leadership. There is no humility in any of you. And you people believe that you have the right and the authority to teach other people how to be leaders? No. No. You're teaching them how to be mammon worshipers, how to build up their egos. You're all operating from a spirit of witchcraft. And I want you to understand that I, I can't see this more clearly. You're all operating from a spirit of witchcraft. This entire planet is being run by witchcraft. And the hysterical thing about this is you people out there are looking down at people from the mystics and the occult and people like me who are, who are fighting a demon out of here because I've been cursed by some guru. You refuse to help. And you have the audacity to stand there and judge other people. And you refuse to look at yourself. This is what cracks me up. You refuse to look at yourself. You all are operating from a spirit of witchcraft. You are all operating in a spirit of rebellion. You are going exactly opposite of what the word of God says. As you all refuse to take responsibility for your behavior. Let's take a look at Mark chapter 9. Starting at verse 35. Sitting down, Jesus called the twelve and said, Anyone who wants to be first must be the very last and the servant of all. So you see how this guy absolutely twisted the Bible. To make you all believe you're not a servant of anybody. You're a little God walking on this earth. Feed your ego. Go ahead and con people out of their money. It's all yours anyways because you're little gods on this planet. You guys need to be very careful out here. And I can't say this enough. Anyone who wants to be first must be the very last. And with this other guy, instead of, instead of saying that this is what the Holy Spirit showed him, well, why hasn't the Holy Spirit showed you that you're operating from a spirit of witchcraft? Why hasn't he showed you that? Why hasn't he showed you that you should be a servant to people, all people? Not only those who feed your ego. And I really, I really hope you will look at your own video to see that ego just dripping off of you. The vileness of that ego just dripping off of you. The more you start looking at your own videos, the more you will be able to see what I'm saying. And the more, if you are truly wanting to be a child of God, then you will want to do everything in your power to peel away this vile ego. The more you watch your own videos, the more you will be able to see it. Verse 36, he took a little child whom he placed among them, taking the child in his arms, he said to them, whoever welcomes one of these little children in my name welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me does not welcome me, but welcomes the one who sent me. Verse 38, teacher, said John, we saw someone driving out demons in your name and we told him to stop because he was not one of us. Do not stop him, Jesus said, for no one who does a miracle in my name can in the next moment say anything bad about me. For whoever is not against us is for us. Truly, I tell you, anyone who gives you a cup of water in my name because you belong to the Messiah will certainly not lose their reward. Now, did you all hear that very nicely? So here's exactly what has happened out here, you guys. Every single one of these people has attacked me for the past year and called me a witch from the stage of their church. Meanwhile, they are operating from a spirit of witchcraft themselves. 
and the Leviathan spirit because their pride is through the roof. Their egos are through the roof. And they're all about this money and name and fame. This is all of the world. This is everything that Jesus commanded that we not be. But here they are as they stood on the stage of their church calling somebody who has left the world behind, who is trying desperately to get these demons out. They attacked. So what did I do? I showed them exactly who they were. Do you understand? I told you when your inner space is empty, you can't hate another human being. So therefore I could never attack another human being. The best that I could ever do is show them who they are. And this is exactly what I have done to every last one of them. To every last one of them. The, the one distinction that I want to make here, as Jesus said, anyone who casts out or does a miracle in his name cannot be against him. And of course, that is the truth. Then why, why I'm out here every day talking about Jesus, then, then why were they all calling me a witch and a demon? Why were they doing that? This is what I, I've been trying to get all of you to see. This is, in fact, the sleep. This is, in fact, their egos. This is, in fact, their own hatred. The, they could not stand me because I knew the Bible better than they did. So they, the only thing that they had left to do, that their ego had left to do, was to cut me down to shreds. And they couldn't even do that. And that made them angry, too. There was literally 16 people out here attacking me. They couldn't do it. Because there really is no ego here. So, if you are serious on this path, you must do introspection constantly. Constantly. To see what kind of dirt and filth lives in you instead of you looking at other people constantly. And you must clean out your inner space. Every single person must do this. And you will understand, it doesn't matter how many miracles these people do out here. Yes, the enemy can perform miracles. The enemy can perform miracles. The one thing that they will never say is that it's in Jesus' name. And you've got to be very careful of that. What they will say is that it is God doing the miracles. They will never say Jesus. They will say God. That's how you will get duped. Now, I hope since all of these people got a little taste of their own medicine, that they will learn to actually become Christ-like now and stop judging people and stop attacking people and learn Learn really what's in the Bible and that they should walk the talk and not be such hypocrites. I will put the videos that I was speaking about in the description for everybody. You all have a blessed day.